Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Russians launched a uh, hypersonic missile attack on Kiev or Kiev Oblast. They launched four Kinzhal hypersonic missiles and the Ukrainians allege uh, or claim they shot down one out of four. Three others um, just missed the target, obviously, according to the Ukrainians. Uh, they were intended for some airfields in the area. Now, interesting enough, um, the debris of that Kinzhal that was sh allegedly shut down by the Ukrainians fell, guess on what? On a children's hospital. Now, people who are familiar with arithmetics, mathematics, and they are familiar with um, probabilities, they will understand what are the probabilities that a debris of a rocket or a missile shot over a big city fall straight on a children's hospital. Okay, that's the first point. The second point, I have here about six articles open uh, discussing the attack. None of these articles mention Patriot systems the destroying, downing the Kinzhal hypersonic missile. Hmm. I wonder why they realize they, uh, the, the lie is bigger than uh, the big lie or what? Interestingly enough, they don't mention Patriot system. Remember, sister, uh, batteries, systems. Remember in, I think it was March, 4th of March or something like that or May, I can't remember exactly when the first time the Patriot systems were in action in Kiev. And they said, well, we destroyed this many, we destroyed six of them. We destroyed The first one it was we destroyed, I think, one. And they said, well, no, no, we destroyed six the next time they, they did it. The Russians said, you didn't destroy, we didn't send that many. How in the hell you destroy them? Remember that one? Okay, they mentioned that Patriot systems, they up till then, they did not destroy a hypersonic missile. Why? Because they couldn't, you know, use it in real life because the Americans don't have a hypersonic missile, as far as I know. So they couldn't uh, replicate it. Therefore, they didn't know. But hey, guess what? Wonder, wonder, wonder. They got it. The Patriot systems destroy hypersonic missiles. Buy one, get one free. Basically, that's why it was. But since then, nothing. And as far as I know, only the Patriot systems were able to destroy the Kinzals, nothing else. And now, no mention of, of uh, Patriot. Very strange, don't you think? Don't you think? I think it's strange. So let's start with the first article here from CBS News. This is from today, August 11th, 2023. Russian airstrikes hit Kiev as Moscow says it downed Ukraine, Ukrainian drone. Explosions rocked the Ukrainian capital of Kiev on Friday as Ukrainian air defenses responded to morning Russian airstrikes. Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko, who is still allowed to be alive by Mr. Zelensky, said in a Telegram post that no one had been injured, but fragments of a missile had fallen onto the grounds of a children's hospital. Obviously, this is done. Not impossible very unlikely and it's for us for our compassion and uh, to call those guys just criminals the ukrainian air forces air force reported that russia has launched hypersonic kinzhal missiles over the kiev region while ukrainian officials said the capital's air defenses were at work i'm not going to say which ones the reuters news agency reported ukrainian authorities had issued nationwide air alert before the attack. They were launched uh, by the MiG-31. So Western allies uh, supplied sophisticated air defense systems to Ukraine to protect the country from uh, regular Russian missile and drone strikes. No Patriot mentioned here. The Biden administration on Thursday asked Congress for to provide an additional $13 billion in emergency defense aid to Ukraine as the war rage on, rages on. Plus, I have to add because these guys are hiding it, I think about 12, not about anything else, 12 billion dollars for emergency, not defense aid, for disaster aid. So there's 25 billion that these weasel are asking, but hey, these guys cover for them. What do you want? Let's go to the next uh, article. This comes from Reuters. I think this is the original, uh, taken by uh, Jerusalem Post. Russian missile debris falls on Kiev's children's hospital. No casualties. 
As I said, not impossible, very unlikely by probabilities. Missile fragments crashed into the grounds of a children's hospital in Kiev on Friday, and explosions rocked the Ukrainian capital as air defenses responded to a morning ride a Russian air strike. Mayor Vitaly Klitschko says no one was hurt at the hospital. Missile debris also dam damaged the roof of a house and fell on a complex of homes in the capital, northern Obolon district, he said. We should thank our air defense forces for shooting down the missiles, plural, plural. Uh, city officials said on the television shortly. Explosions were also reported in the western region of Khmelnytsky. Khmelnytsky, where officials said air defenses were at work. There were no in immediate reports of damage or casualties from the area. So now we have missiles downed, but they didn't mention anything about Patriot again. Let's go to the next one. Ukrainska Pravda. Again, everything is from Friday today, 11th of August. Russia launches four Kinzhal missiles at Ukraine. One missile shot down, three hit near airfield. Not the airfield, near, because they're bad, you know. But somehow they, when they have to destroy a church, the Russians are so accurate. Or when they have to destroy a hospital, straight on. But when they hit, when they try to hit military targets, man, it's near. They, they, they're not as good. Okay, I believe you. On the morning of August 11th, Russia attacked Ukraine with four KH-47 Kinzhal missiles, hypersonic, one of which was shut down. No mention of Patriot systems. Why is that? Now everyone can hit the hypersonic Russian missiles, I guess. Around, ele uh, ele around 10 a.m., the enemy launched four Kinzhal KH-47 aeroballistic missiles from four MiG-31K aircraft. Launches were carried out from the airspace of Tula and Lipetsk Oblast of the Russian Federation. The missiles entered Ukraine's airspace from the north, heading southwest to the area of Kolomia airfield in Ivano Frankish Oblast. So let's see where this is. So they, they entered um, from the north, and then they went southwest to the area of Bababab in the Frankish Ivano Oblast. So north, probably they came from this way because this is the Pensk right here. So this is where supposedly these uh, missiles were released, this area right here. So they went through the north here and they go to Li Ivano Lipansk, pop, 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 right here. So right here by, uh, here's where the, the border right here with Hungary and Romania. Um, these guys from Rheinmetall will start building uh, tanks right here with my hand. They say, we're going to put here some air defense systems. So the Russians are testing their thing right here. Why? Because probably when these guys are going to deliver their F-16s, they think they're going to go start taking off from here. If you remember, they destroyed an airfield here, military airfield, where again, uh, this, this is the only one where the, according to the Russians, and not only the... Um, um, Storm Shadow missiles are on what MiG-24, I think, attached to MiG-24. This is where they take off. This is in uh, this area. Um, uh, how do you call it? An airfield. I think this one, but I think it was uh, Khmelnytsky. Maybe it was Venetia, but um, anyway, one of this area. So f deep, deep, deep inside in the west, west side of Ukraine. So they started from here. They enter here and they went here by Kiev and Kiev as well. All right, let's go back to this one. One KH-47 missile was shot down in Kiev Oblast <clears throat> by a Patriot or not. They don't mention shit. The rest hit near the airfield. Civilian infrastructure has been hit. One of the missiles struck the residential area. Okay, according to Ivano Frankivsk, Oblast military administration, a child has been killed. Pa -pa 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 -pa. There are injuries among civilian population, but not the airfield, obviously. Next one, Ukraine form. Oh, is this a Patriot system? Looks like. <laughs> All right, I think this is one, but they will not mention the word Patriot system in the whole thing. They just post this one right here, but they will not mention it. Air Force, Kinzhal missile shut down in Ukraine's sky this morning, and they imply these things did it. Why are they afraid? So they don't disclose their location or something, or they don't have any more, and that's why. Uh, maybe the Russians blew them up already, because two German Patriot systems will be delivered by 
Germany. Two Patriot systems will be delivered, so therefore they need more. It's okay, it's okay, the Russians will visit them. One of the four enemy KH-47 missiles was shot down in Ukraine on the morning of Friday, August 11. Around 10 a.m., I already said this one, the missile entered Ukraine airspace from the northern direction, heading southwest to the area of the Kolomia airfield in ivano klankivsk region. Why do they even bother? If they are so criminals, why do they even bother to hit the airfield? Why don't they just, as they say, as the Ukrainians say, they just attack uh, other <clears throat> targets? One KH-47 missile was destroyed within Kiev region. The rest struck near near the airfield. Slackers. Objects of civilian infrastructure were hit. And one of the missiles struck a residential sector. So they are very good at hitting supposedly residential sectors, but no military targets. Do you believe it? I don't. Uh, I don't believe in this case. It's like always like this. And it can't always happen like that. I mean, unless you just say they are so good, they destroy only... Um, as I said, they're very accurate, supposedly destroying civilian targets, but when they send it to military targets, somehow they lose the accuracy. Okay, um, tell that to a toddler. So, next and the last one comes from the Russians themselves. Russia Today, 11th of August 2023. Explosions reported in Kiev after air raid alert. The Ukrainian military says the capital has come under attack by Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. Now, uh, the we see here the church, beautiful church, and this, the monument, uh, the motherland monument in Kiev, if you remember, now they changed, it was here the communist, you know, hammer and sickle thing here, now they changed, they put a Ukrainian tree dent, well, that's their little thing, whatever you want, but if those evil Russians want, couldn't they just blow it up? But they don't somehow, or they're not as good, the same with this one here, but I'm not, I'm just saying, uh, since these are civilian targets the russians should be very accurate but somehow they're not that criminal yet uh, anyway they have changed this but the russians can say, can say okay don't worry we're gonna take care of it but somehow they don't do it they don't have missiles right right the russian air forces air force has launched a missile attack on kiev ukraine defense officials have said amid reports of several powerful let me do it like this hello uh, of several powerful explosions in the capital. The Russian Defense Ministry has yet to comment on the alleged strikes. On Friday morning at around 9.50 a.m. local time, the Ukrainian Air Force issued an air raid alert over the entire country and a few minutes later it started, it stated it had registered, and I'm quoting, launches of KH-47 M2 Kinzhal aeroballistic missiles from, a, from MiG-31K the direction of Kiev region. And then says Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said there had been several explosions in the city while the local authorities claimed that air defense were working. Later, Klitschko added that there had been no injuries or damage. And then they tell us more information here, several blah blah blah. They say Kinzhal's hypersonic air launch missiles can travel more than 2000 kilometers and have high maneuverability allowing them to evade air defense systems. So they say 2,000 kilometers because I showed you on the map where they were launched or released by the MiG-31K to uh, where they landed in the uh, Izamir Kapalin Kapadokompa. All right. So that's with that. My point is this. No mention of Patriot systems. Uh, it's unbelievable. Secondly, they destroyed the Kinzhal. So they're what? 25%. Uh, right from four, one was destroyed. The Russians attacked some um, military targets, but they missed. Those are the Arf airfields. But guess what? They destroyed the civilian um, uh, residential area. Correct? Correct. The debris of one Kinzhal just fell over a children's hospital. Now, I urge you to go in your city. I don't know where you live. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Kiev is a big city, big city. Now the probability that that King Zal is first hit, uh, all right, and then the debris fall on a hospital, you go around your neighborhood and you locate the children's hospital, okay? And then you tell me what are the odds that one debris that is uh, meant for, I don't know exactly what, is just gonna fall on that, coming from, I don't know, 1,000 uh, kilometers away. 
I'm exaggerating, but maybe that's about uh, the distance. Maybe it's 500 kilometers from Kiev to the location of that oblast. So you tell me, my friends, oh, not 500, less than 500, because it's 500 from Kiev straight line to Moscow, so about 500 miles or kilometers. One of the two. Doesn't really matter. These guys could hit it, according to these guys, 2,000 kilometers. So it's within the range. Anyway, you tell me that. And no patriot, nothing like that. The fact, this is what I'm taking out of this. The fact is, the Russians launched Kinzhal missiles and some of them hit the targets or missed the targets, but they were launched. Now, this guy says, yeah, you're going to find the, the Russian communique, Ministry of Defense communique. Yes, all of them hit the targets. These guys obviously said, no, um, near this, and they destroyed that. Um, no mention of Patriot systems. This is very odd, don't you think? Whereas the first time and the second time when they destroyed them, they were all playing drums and pop, 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 violin. They were having a little band over there. Psh, 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 yes, and now zip it just the air defenses i think it was too obvious that or maybe they don't have them anymore who knows uh, everything is possible uh, but we will go with probabilities again thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just